intuitive therapy training is um, really, I suppose, in a sense, getting people to understand that their senses of the world um, are more uh, in depth than they think. We all explore the world in our five senses, naturally. That's how all of us interpret the world. But there's um, a subtlety uh, with the energy transference between two people. Um, we are exchanging energy now. Um, although you know we're not aware of it in a sense consciously subconsciously we are you'll be working out whether or not you uh, are okay with me you'll be working out if it's safe it's secure and all those kind of things will be going on and so intuitive therapy is sort of like getting to that level uh, the training is to develop people to sense things on a much more uh, finer detail process um, much more of a climatization process in that sensing and we will in counseling uh, we will have situations where we call it transfers, where we will pick up on the other person's situation or scenario. And maybe what they're saying to us is all la la la, wonderful, happy. And underneath we've got this feeling of, whoa, there's a depth here that really is not being explored or explained. And so we will then pick up on that. Some counsellors will use it. They will use the transference and say, oh yeah, that doesn't fit. And they're telling me this, but I'm feeling that. And they won't question it. Other people like myself will question it. We'll say, okay, this doesn't gel, this doesn't fit. And I suppose what intuitive counselling training is all about is getting the client, uh, the therapist, the counsellor even with the training to develop that kind of finer tuning in, that finer sense of what's really going on here and checking that out. Um, a lot of people will say, you don't usually do that. They usually come away with a session and feel that they've got a headache. They don't see that it's the person's headache. They believe it's theirs. So they then say, well, okay, I've got a headache. Now, if they'd explored that in the session, they may have found out all sorts of things that the person was um, stressed about what we were talking about, um, really scared about what we are talking about, you know. So in some senses, it's training people to understand that difference, to pick up on that finer nuances of uh, the energy structure between the two people. I had somebody ring me up and they said they were a therapist. And I said, what kind of therapist? He said, I'm a healer. Um, and I said, okay, you know, so why would you want to do this course? And I said, because I can connect better with my clients. I can bond better with my clients. The information you're giving me tells me I can do that. And I said, okay then. So then I thought, well, maybe there's an area where in counselling speak, um, we use a lot of terminology that other people probably would not be aware of um, or would be confused about. So I thought, well, maybe there's an element of coming in and doing counsellor training, which I do already, and also branching that out to therapists and reflexologists, healers, you know, um, any kind of occupational therapy kind of process. And then I thought, well, actually, you could probably work it with anybody that connects with another human being in a helping scenario. So anybody, really, could benefit by doing the training. We would do a day's workshop, and days are usually from about 10 to about 4.30. Um, in the local as vicinity of where we're working. Um, we would then do that day in getting the people to understand what it's all about, in a sense. What does it consist of? You know, getting them to sense the difference uh, with some exercises um, that we do. And getting them to understand that there's more to the information structures that they previously thought. And one of this, they go away with a feeling that, yeah, I can do that. They have more confidence to get involved in it. And so the first one is just really as a taste workshop to see if it's right for people, because it might not be. And there's a vulnerability in this work whereby, in a sense, uh, I have to feel the client, but the client has to feel me. It's a transference. It's two people's energies coming together. And in that vulnerability, I have to allow their emotions, their senses to connect. And that can be really scary sometimes. You know? So I think from the format, that first day would give them people a taster, in a sense, a flavour of it. And then the second day, what we do is we take that into a much deeper level and we process it in a much more deeper way with much more information structures um, to get people then to utilise that in a way that actually will help their business or their premises work more effectively and efficiently. And then the, for the counselling, there's a third element, which um, for the therapist, it doesn't need to be, but that takes it onto a much deeper uh, level. I call it uh, enter the client's world and feel the fear. Because um, it literally can be like that. Um, because most people are scared about therapy. They have a fear about what's going to happen if they haven't got some previous knowledge, obviously. And so from that point of view, it can be a bit scary. You know? 
And counselling usually in a deal with not necessarily more in-depth problems, but certainly possibly work with more areas where they need to have a better understanding of things um, than a, a therapist, for example, that would be doing healing or such like. Um, that then gives them some kind of element of um, interaction with my website, my company, which is Intuitive Therapy. Um, that then gives them also a place on that website so that they can actually utilise that from a business sense, so that they can attract clients when they connect with the website in the different areas that they live. So people will be able to go on the website and search for a particular area and see who is the, the therapist in that local area. So not only do they get the certificate of attendance, they also get business opportunities as well, which we all need. You know. I think the message for me would be that um, if you're going to work with people, then you need to know people. And if you know people, you can help them. And the, the reason why it would work with uh, therapists and counsellors, anybody in a helping profession, is because the faster we can connect, the easier the work is, one. And also, you can go through more clients. The work is done on a quicker basis. So your waiting list come down, your referrals will come up, because obviously people will then refer to you and say that person did a good job. So I think from a business point of view and the training point of view, it helps in all sorts of different ways. So my message, I suppose, is in a sense, suck it and see. <laughs>